Hi guys! This is the second grade video of the day. I'm so excited to teach you what I know about borrowing with two numbers as it can be, let's just say, a little tricky. So if you look at my board today, I have the number 42 minus 19. This is four tens and two ones to get the number 42. This is one ten and nine ones to get the number 19. Okay, so when I'm borrowing and when I'm subtracting, I always, 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 always start in my ones. Where do you start? You always start in the, yes, that's right. You always start with the ones. Okay, but now I have a problem. Look here. I have two and I want to take away nine. Can I do that? I have two cookies, but I want to take away nine cookies from there. Can I do that? Well, no, I can't because I only have two. So what do I have to do? Hmm. I have a little saying. Listen closely. Bottom, bigger, better, borrow. Say that with me. Bottom, bigger, better, borrow. Say it one more time. Bottom, bigger, better, borrow. Well, I have to, where do I borrow from, you might ask? Good question, I'll show you. I'm gonna go borrow a 10. And when I borrow a 10, I cross off my four and I make that a three and I have to bring that number back. I can't just leave it there, I have to bring it back. So I'm gonna cross this off. Now there's different ways that different people teach you. So I'm gonna show you a couple different ways when we're doing the problem. So this is one way. Some people like to cross off the two and make it a 12 and circle it to let you know. Oh, mine looks like two, let me fix that. Let me fix that. I'm gonna make it a 12 because if I have two, that won't work. So now I know that I have 12 ones. I have 12 up here and I have nine down here. I have 12 cookies and I wanna eat nine of them. Whew, I might get sick, but can I do that? I have 12 and I wanna eat nine of them or share nine of them with my friends. Yeah, I can do that now. So I'm gonna take what's 12 minus nine. Think time. And if you're not quite sure, another way to do this is start at nine and count up to 12. Let's try that. Nine, 10, 11, 12. So I know that 12 minus nine equals three. So I'm gonna make sure I put my three in my ones column so that you can see it. Now I'm gonna go over to my tens column. I have a three up top and I have one on the bottom. Hmm. Is my bottom bigger? Nope. So I can just subtract. I can go three minus one equals what? I start with three and I count back one. Oh yeah, that's right. Three minus one equals two. So my answer to this one is 23. Let's try another one. It's tricky. Hmm, let's see. All right, I have 54 minus 37. I want you to tell me, hmm, let's look. What's my first step? I start in my ones and I think to myself, hmm, bottom bigger, better borrow. You're right. So I go over to my five, cross that off. I'm borrowing the 10. I'm bringing the 10 ones over here. So I'm gonna have four tens left and I'm gonna put that right over here. Now, another way people do this is sometimes they just put the four like that in there. They don't cross it off. They don't do anything. They just put the four right in. That's another way you can do this too. There's lots of different ways and lots of different teachers teach it different ways. So that's why I'm showing you a couple different ways. Now I have 14 and I wanna take away seven. Oh, can I do that now? You're right, I can. And guess what? This is a double fact. I know that seven plus seven equals 14, so I know that this has to be a seven. Now let's look here. I'm gonna go over to my 10 spot. Here we go. Four, and I wanna take away three of those. I can do that. Four minus three, hmm, they're neighbor numbers, so I know my answer is gonna be one. So my answer to this problem is 17. Now I'm gonna give you a problem. Let's see if you can solve this on your own. Here's your problem. 
I want you to solve it. Think first steps, where do I start? Start in my ones, and then I have to say, hmm, what do I do next? Yep, that's right, bottom bigger, better borrow. So I do that. Let's check. Or I could go like this and put it up here and circle it. Hmm. This is kind of tricky. What gets me to the number 14? Well, I'm gonna start at eight and count up. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So I know that 14 minus eight has to equal what? I think six. Yeah, you're right. Oops, there's my warning. And then two minus one, I know that that equals one, so my answer is 16. All right, guys, I hope that this helped you today. And remember the key word, bottom, bigger, better, borrow. Say it with me, bottom, bigger, better, borrow. Now for your challenge today, my friends, I have a game. I have some handy dandy dice and all you'll need is two dice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll the first one. I get a four. I'm gonna roll the next one. I get a six. Now, hmm, I want you to put another one. The first one you roll, I got a four. And the next one I rolled, I got a six. Oh my goodness. Can I subtract like this? No, so I gotta switch my numbers around. I can't put my bottom bigger, my number on the bottom, so I have to go like this. 64 minus 46. And then you can solve that. So all you need is two dice and a sheet of paper. I can't wait to see what you come up with. See you tomorrow. Remember, bottom bigger, better, better.